Hey guys, and welcome back to Hard Edge, where we last left off. We were stumbling our way through this building, shooting discount liquors and uh, robots in the face. Oh, and of course, 99 red balloons. Uh, right, let's con- oh, for God's sakes. I'm never going to get used to the fact that um, it's circle to go through doors and things. All right. There's a very serious looking Alex there. Ooh, robot dude. How cute. Wow, okay, this guy actually... Ooh, dear. Didn't get that right, did we? Those guys have a lot of health. Yeah, I'm not sure why we didn't back off then, but it doesn't matter. We're still getting used to it. So, robot butler. Kicked him in the balls. And then he kind of punched us in the dick, but we're not going to worry about that too much. Okay. I guess there's nothing we can do with the piano, unfortunately. Anything behind here? It doesn't look like it. No. Alright, that's where we came in from. I suppose if we exhaust all of our options this way, we can always take over with uh, Michelle. Let's go through this door. Ooh, is that some kind of funky slime projector? I guess so. I can't think what else that would be. Can we search this? Hey, found a first aid tube. Lovely. Might be needing one of these first aid tubes in the not too distant future. So that is definitely a slime projector. It's a very large screen. Yeah. Yes, it is. There's a huge picture here. All right. So let's have a fiddle with this then, shall we? There is a slide projector. Turn it on. Sure. It's got a lot of flashing lights on it. Garland system. Kill a satellite. That's a spicy meatball. Space Development Department System Research Team. Professor Kevin Howard. Sethroff, is that you? What the hell? Professor Volt Maverick? Artificial Brain Type R200. Ooh. Artificial Brain. Brain Information Transplant Operation. So they put that brain in some someone something yes I guess they did right okay so somebody has an artificial brain okay that makes all the sense in the world the door is locked from the other side there's a lot of doors that are locked from the other side here all right well for now So we can't go through that door. Can we go all the way the other side? Because there's two doors over there. I know, oh god. I know one of those doors for sure is locked. But I'm not sure about the other one. Oh, Robo Man's back. Warning. Uh, yep, he's about to give us a fisting. But we don't want none of his fist up our ass. Not today. Is he going to be back? Can we go in there? Can we, like, farm this guy? Although I'm not sure how efficient farming this guy. Ooh! Okay. That didn't exactly go as well as I thought. Ooh, he has a big beating stick, which has a rather large. Um. A very large radius on that beating stick. Oof. Yeah, Alex is starting to feel a little bit sorry for himself. Although, let's try something. Can we... Ah, oh, circle to go through fucking door. That's really stupid. Circle to go through a door. There was a way 
we can switch to high ex uh, high explosive bullets. Now, do these do more damage against the robots? Yeah, he's back. They do. Okay, so the high explosive does seem to do more damage. But he just drops standard bullets. I wonder if we can just farm this guy a couple of times. Just to try and get some more health. I know we do have more health in our inventory, but... <sighs> he was dropping instant health that we can use. And yeah, so the high explosives are definitely the way to go. Uh, he didn't drop anything that time. Alright, never mind. Worth a go, I suppose. Uh, now, if we can't get any joy with these doors over this side... Can we actually go back downstairs? No. Strange, the lift is not working. No, so we can't go back down the stairs. Alright. So if we can't get any joy with these two doors, we will switch over to Michelle and see what she can do. Be interested to see, that's the pirate door through there. I'll be very interested to see if um, some of these enemies have come back. Doesn't appear to have. So that one is, there is a sequence lock. Oh, there's a sequence lock. Uh, okay, how do I do the thing? Set. Right. Oh, no. Do I have to remember? There's no way, surely. Oh, I see. I've got a... Right, okay. That's not actually too bad. Shit. I say that's not too bad. It's bad enough. Come on, you can do this. There we go. All right, cool. Can we go through the door now? I guess we can. Uh. Ooh. So what is this? Apart from a very slow cutscene. Ooh. The fuck is... These animations are very slow. Ow. Huh? A girl? Girl with a very strange shaped spine. You don't look like one of them. You're not the girl who was kidnapped, are you? Yes, I am. I'm Rachel, Professor Howard's daughter. I'm Alec from the Special Forces. Sorry I kicked you like that. We've come to rescue all the captives. Are you alone? Stay hidden here for now, and I'll go look for the others. No, I'm going with you. No way. It's <coughs> too dangerous. Look, it's okay. I let myself be kidnapped on purpose, so 
I could say daddy. Okay. So you could what? That makes perfect sense. You heard me. Now just take me with you. I won't get in the way. But I don't think we have a choice, Alex. No buts about it. Come on, let's oh. get going. God. <laughs> Rachel joins the party. Like, I don't even know what to say about this. It's just a very strange girl kicks us. Now, one thing I was thinking during that cutscene. Notice how um, she has that red kind of frazzled hair. Is she the one with the implanted brain? Found a first aid tube. Lovely. I've... There are unopened boxes and useless half-broken machines. All messed together, gathering dust. Yeah, is she going to be the one that has the robotic brain? Containers which have rusted in parts generally look dull. Well, okay. I'm glad they generally look dull. That's fine. So we've got a new character. Rachel. Okay. I'm guessing we can play as her whenever we want, I suppose. There's a battery unit. I shouldn't, I shouldn't need it now. You shouldn't need it now, but you're going to need it later. Is that what you're saying? I think that's what our man Alex here is saying. Dust shoot. On the floor. On the floor is the handle. Evidently broken off. Could use something in its place to open it. Hmm. So we need to find something in its place to open. Okay. So... There's a number of containers piled up high here. Yeah. Okay, what's this? There's a number more containers piled up high, and I guess that's the only thing that's on this shelf. So we need to find something that we can use. Okay. So... I mean, we found another area. And we've got two doors up ahead that we need to check. Uh, what we could do as well. Should we try Rachel? See what she's like. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Look at these anime like um, characters here. They're actually pretty cool. I mean, I'm not really into anime. Uh, I used to be many, many, many years ago. But I guess I just kind of grew out of it, I suppose. Um, let's, oh, 30 points, 20 points, let's give her a bit of extra health, do we want to give her that as well, I mean, maybe, there we go, give her loads of, loads of health, I get the feeling these EX bottles are going to be fairly common, um, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, I don't know, we're going to find out together. Oh, cool. Oh, dude. Oh, she's... She's slow. Can she dodge? She can dodge backwards. And she can do some kind of butt slam. Alright, well, I thought this game was going to be um, a horror game. But it seems more of a comedic game, if anything. Right. Doesn't seem to be anywhere on the floor that manages the power supply. Well, we found a battery thing. Can we not play with the battery thing? And then the only other door was this one. It's a one-way door. And we happen to be on the wrong side. I noticed that the characters are saying different things depending on... Or different things are being said depending on what character you play as which is very cool right let's switch up to Michelle oh so Michelle has different equipment mainly I guess because she's not with those two guys that's an interesting detail that I quite like all right let's switch up to Michelle see what we can find down here okay she looks like she would be better suited in Baywatch or something, but hey. 
Let's start opening some doors, I guess. Oh, I can hear bad necks. Apparently they're in the other room. Ah, hey dude. It's a man with a knife. Apparently he's not much threat. I think his attack actually missed us and went through us. Which is fine. We can handle that. Whoa. Michelle is freaking cool. Okay. I like Michelle. Ah, oh, hey friend. Oh, you like some of that, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, Michelle's way better. Maybe the gun gets... Well, the gun... I don't think the gun gets better. There's a leaflet about the machinery. Machinery gear ink. Are we going to read it or... Okay. I guess not. So, what else do we have? Michelle... Oh, I like you. I didn't think I was going to. A copier. This has got to be an office. Well, Michelle, it depends what gets copied here, really. Found a blue EX bottle. I guess this locker's private. Well, Michelle, pretty much all of those lockers should probably be private. Let's be fair. But, you know, needs must. Now is not the time for privacy. Found a first aid pill. Lovely. Alright. Well. Anything here? So the hit detection uh, is kind of strange. Like where you can go and where you can't go. It's a little bit wonky. But it's fine. It's not as refined as Resident Evil. But it does well enough. Ooh. The hell is that? Is that the brain? There's a network computer. Need a keycard to access it. Alright, well. Well, what we could do with Michelle. Um, I'm not going to get used to the fact that start is the map. Usually select is the map. Um, let's pop that, shall we? Gives her like 280 health. That seems to be a good amount. I don't know how many of those bottles we're going to get. Like I said, I'm guessing, considering how many they're throwing at us, we're going to be getting a lot of them. Right, what's this way? Yeah, prefer Michelle's... Oh, hello. Yeah, get fucked, boy. Get fucked. Come on, come on. What you got? Oh, you got nothing, man. You got nothing. Dude. Michelle? Ah, you're making Alex look ridiculous. Now this is what I call a weapon. Yeah, Michelle is bae. Right, let's go. I can't believe I said that. Oh god, I, I feel the cringe. Right, what else have we got here? Ooh, oh, that's going to explode, isn't it? Yeah. See? I'm not stupid. We go through this door? We can. Pretty good at going through doors. What is her? Oh, hello. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button to attack. Sorry, Michelle, that was my fault. Oh, hello. Oh, dude, that uppercut or that uppercut thing is awesome. Man, I didn't think she was going to be this powerful. But I'm guessing we're only on the basic enemies. So, take all that with a grain of salt, I guess. Ooh. We've got hostiles. Let's go cut this guy's neck. Oh, dude, you suck. They definitely look like discount enemies from some 80s cartoon, that's for sure. Yeah, they don't even have a chance to attack you. Oh, there's a switch inside this locker. Uh, no. Not push it yet. Let's kill this guy first. 
let's scout this area out because it might be no Ooh, might be another time limit thing. I like the fact we get health from killing some Ooh, some of these enemies. Come get me, fool. Oh, dude. I almost feel bad for you, man. You haven't really had a chance, did you? So health does disappear after a while. That's good to know. All right. Oh, hey, friend. Allow me to take your life. Yeah, Michelle's a bit of a heartless bitch like that. Cool. All right, let's go push the button, I guess. Yeah, let's not stab the locker. Let's push the button. Locker isn't very... What? There we go. See, it's got this old school thing that annoys me. So it's circle to search things. But then you um, make your decision with X. Which is really annoying. There's a row of lockers. Yeah, I can see that. I'm asking you if there's anything in there. Anything in the pot? Ooh. Hey, there's a first aid pill in the pot. Nice. Desks are all lined up. Lovely. We're well, very good at stating the obvious. I'll give you that. This one's been tidied recently. How can you tell if it's been tidied recently? So we can't do anything there. There's an image of some large object. Looks like an airfield. Yeah, we're, we're kind of looking at the door here. All shut tightly. I don't think it'd be easy to open. That's fine. Books. Economic growth. Oh, that sounds fun. A hundred ways to gain from losing. Oh. Sounds equally fun. All these flashing lights, you think they're trying to... Hey, nice. Draw your attention, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Sweet FA in here, apparently. So, what's through here, then? What does this do? To open the door, you need card key B. All right, so we need card key B. At least we've cleared out the enemies, I suppose. Oh, hello. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. So if you don't... Oh, they stun you. Oh, that... Act... That adds a little bit of an extra fuck factor to the combat, doesn't it? Does this enemy come back as well? They do. Okay, so sometimes the enemies come back, sometimes they don't. Interesting. Unless enemies just come back in certain ways, that could also be a thing, maybe? Oh, hey, friend. Man, these guys are very ineffective. To open the door, you need keycard B. Right, so we need a lot of keycards. Okay. Alright, let's start going back. Try another way. Definitely has a very silly outfit, that's for sure. Uh, is this the way we came? No? Question mark? Yeah, actually it is. Now, is there anything left in there to explore? Um, ah, look, we actually have a save station over there. Right. Well, let's go back in there then, because there's two doors we haven't tried, apparently. All right. What's this? Ooh. Ow, son of a bitch. Right, we can actually hit multiple enemies, which is nice. And it's sometimes, I'm guessing, it's better to stop that combo before she goes for a kick. Because that kick, she kind of has to have a slow recharge after that kick, where you're left vulnerable. So if you can stop before that kick... Uh, you can be a little bit quicker. So we need key card B for that one. Hey, another liquor. I don't know what these guys are called. We're going to call them 
We're probably going to call them lickers. That's probably going to stick. I guess we could call them feelers because they've got long, gangly, creepy looking arms. Uh, right, so we haven't tried this door. Yeah, and again, it's a, another weird thing. It start to go into this menu, but you have to push triangle to get out of this menu. The buttons really are all over the place. Right, okay, so we've got a couple of green dudes. A couple of bogeymen. That's okay. Oh, God, they actually got a slice on me. Son of a bitch. This guy's like kicking my ass. Dude. Dude. Honestly. Hey, well, I mean, at least he helped the girl out. Right, so that's an explosive thing. Like one of the worst landmines ever in recorded history. Which is okay by me. A leather sofa. Looks expensive. I thought she was going to say, looks comfortable then. Ooh. Looks like this statue can be turned. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Not that I'm complaining. Is that key card B? <laughs> it is key card B. What? I swear to God, I haven't read a guide. Uh, I haven't actually felt the need for one so far. Right. Found keycard B. Well, that's going to come in useful. Yeah, there's some strange instances like this where you just seem to get stuck on the environment. Uh, I believe ages ago I looked up a, a review of this. And I do mean ages ago when people were mentioning it. And, um, they, yeah, there's, this game does have problems. I can't remember any of what they said, but I do remember them saying getting stuck on the environment. I can't even remember if they said it was a good game or not, but... I mean, I'm enjoying it. So, yay. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, hey, friend. <laughs> Dude, dude, absolutely destroyed. Who's next? Oh, this corridor looks... Oh, there's a mine there. We're stuck. What are we stuck on? Whoa, the mines hurt the enemies. All right, also, you can get stuck on the environment. I don't know what we got stuck on. Maybe the mine? Potentially? I'm not sure. Uh, right. Just gonna keep opening doors. It's too dark to carry on. I think I better off go back for now. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, if it's too dark, that's fair enough. At least we've made some progress. Are we really already on almost on half an hour. Time flies when you're having fun. I've uh, got a couple of doors to try down here. Okay. So that we need the key card for. This one we don't. So let's try the... the oh, locked from the inside. Uh, I guess that narrows our options down a little bit, doesn't it? Ooh. This is fancy. You look at that. Ah! Well, that's awfully convenient, isn't it? Because we're on half an hour. Um, so I think I'm going to take this opportunity to save the game, guys. And I will catch you in the next episode. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. This is cool. And, of course, I pushed the wrong button to not save it. Because it's circle to go into things. And then it's either triangle to escape. Or it's X to actually save. I think they just looked at the PlayStation 1 controller and like it was such a generational jump. They all of a sudden had so many buttons. So they're like, right, let's make every single action a completely different button. Just map everything to everything and hope for the best. That's the impression I'm getting anyway. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. This is really cool. It's really refreshing. Um, I think from what I've played so far, if I had this game back when I was a kid, yeah, I would have enjoyed the hell out of it. Anyway, is it going to keep its enjoyable momentum or is it going to go south? I guess we'll find out together. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.